In this lesson, we'll look at the very basic but really important technique of checkmating a lone king using a king and a queen. Now, one of the basic skills in a chess game is establishing some sort of coordination between two pieces and to achieve a single aim. So in this example, we'll see how white can use both the king and the queen to deliver a checkmate. Now, this plan of delivering a checkmate has two steps. First, the black king has to be pushed to one of the last squares where the checkmate will happen and then finally delivering a checkmate. Let us see how that happens. I'll keep giving basic pointers as I make the moves and will also explain why did I make a particular move. I'll start with the queen move to c3. Now, what I'm thinking in my mind is that I'm restricting the queen to this box which is uh, the boundaries of which are defined by the range of the white queen basically the king cannot get outside of this box and with each move I will try to make the box smaller and to push the king to one of the last squares let us see how that happens King moves here and I get an opportunity to give a check and make the box a slightly bit smaller and I continue doing that. When I cannot make the box smaller, like in this case, I improve the position of the king. Like I talked about in the opening, it requires a small bit of cooperation between both of the pieces to achieve the final position of the checkmate. The king goes here and I further restrict by creating another box. King goes here. All my checks are with the aim. I just don't want to give a check for no reason at all. But all my checks are towards the aim of restricting the king to a smaller and smaller space goes here and I go here now see where we started from the square has become much smaller the box is much smaller and the black king has access to lesser and lesser number of squares and I improve my king I improve my king and make the box smaller Now, we have achieved the first part of our plan, which is pushing the king to one of the last lines. Now, as soon as it reaches there, I will just make a small queen move here and restrict it to the last line. And king has only two movements, one here and one here. And I have all the time in the world to bring the king over and give a checkmate. We saw how we coordinated both the king and the queen in pushing the king to one of the last squares and finally delivering a checkmate. Uh, one important thing to be careful about in this checkmate is not allowing black to escape with a stalemate which happens like this now let us say i choose to play the king here and the king goes here and uh, i put the king here and in a hurry i put the king here queen here now suddenly 
the black king has run out of squares and it's a stalemate and instead of winning the game white just gets a draw and uh, in a tournament if you have some experience of playing in a tournament you will know this position you will get only half in point not a full point which you deserve so uh, this is a position which we have to be careful about and remember that uh, just with a little care we can deliver a checkmate and get the full point instead of uh, allowing the opponent to escape with his stalemate and half a point.